Welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. Today's book of the week comes from Miranda Erickson with the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library. And here in the true crime podcast genre, this one right here, you may want to check this one out. Okay. Well, I'm back here at the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library. It's time for the book of the week. Today we're talking about a long stretch of bad days. Ooh. Very relatable, it seems like. Yes, doesn't that title get your attention? Yes, it does. So that's what first caught my attention. And the book is by Mindy McGinnis, who's also the author of the books, Be Not Far From Me, Not A Drop To Drink, and Female Of The Species, all of which have like a fierce rock star female character mm -hmm. at their heart. All right. And in this case, it also brings in true crime podcasting, Ooh, which is okay. a topic that gets a lot of folks yes, interested. Yes, I, I know so many people that are fans right? of that. Yes. So we've got two high school seniors who are set to graduate, and it turns out they're both short a little bit of a credit because their advisor was maybe drinking at his desk instead of doing his job. Just another small town secret, and as the two pair up to do a true crime podcast about the local history of their town, they are going to uncover a lot of things that people haven't wanted to talk about. Uh -oh. They decide to focus on the long stretch of bad days, which was a time in the town when there was a tornado, a flash flood, and the town's only murder, which went unsolved, and it all happened in a week. Ooh. Isn't that how it goes? Okay. <laughs> so as they go back and start to look up information about this, they find some inconsistencies indiscrepancies and start talking to people in the town and hunting down this story and it may turn out that they put themselves in danger trying to uncover the truth. So, ooh, it's so good. And the dialogue's hilarious. It teams up a girl who's from a wealthy family uh, with a girl who's got a name that comes with a mm -hmm. reputation, you know, and <laughs> mm -hmm. they both are taking on these secrets and coming at it from different angles. And it just, it made me laugh. It kept my interest. It was so good. It sounds, it sounds very delightful, definitely. Yes. And I'm curious with the format of the book, I know mm -hmm. some of the times the true crime genre they kind of make, they make it a little transcripty. You get a little bit of the podcast. Is yes. it a little bit like that? Yes, Ooh. absolutely. So I did this one on audio, mm -hmm. and so it actually sounds like you're listening to the podcast. Oh, cool! It shifts into okay. that chapter, and then you're like, "Welcome to the," you know, and you just get to hear it. And um, the the one really funny character who comes from the not so good family did a whole episode that does a local history tour while also tying in the various roadkill of the county. So just to give you an idea, <laughs> like. <laughs> It's great. It's got a little bit of everything. Sounds like a blast. So I'm <laughs> curious, obviously you seem to have really enjoyed it. Are you wanting the sequel out of this? Oh gosh, I would read one. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were finishing off their senior year of high school, so seeing what happens with these two young women who came from very different backgrounds but are both bright and set ready for success would be really interesting. All right, dive. hopefully we can dive into the world. Yeah. A long stretch of very bad days. That's right. Ooh, just like I said, just relatable. Yes. <laughs> Miranda, thank you so much. Be sure to check it out at the Beacon Shawnee County Public Library. Thank you, Dane.